Hey everybody, what's up? I hope you're all having a great day. You might notice that today's video isn't taking place in the usual spot that most of my uploads are actually recorded at, and that's because my granddad is busy and I have a bulb out in one of my lights on my car, so I don't want to risk getting a ticket and going and driving to the gym myself because that gym is not that close to the house, sadly, so it just isn't worth going, but that will not stop these gains. As you can see, I do have a power rack it's nothing to bet an eye at as it's just a cap brand power rack from Walmart it was a little over a hundred dollars if anybody is interested the holes on the power rack are also only one inch diameter unlike most power racks that are even worth purchasing or the racks you see and use at the local gym that you go to those are all two inch racks which depending on the size of those holes on the rack that actually determines besides how it's built and the surrounding area that kind of stuff that's what actually determines what attachments add-ons or accessories and so on you can have on your power rack so because of the specific kind of power rack that i purchased i can only do so much with it this video was recorded on a day that was a push day so that's mainly what my workout and this video will be focusing on and from time to time yes you might actually end up seeing more videos shot from my house and hopefully soon different gyms too that way not every video looks so freaking similar regardless we are making some progress as you can tell in the footage from today's upload Compared to bench pressing at the gym I usually go to, I was able to put up in my usual rep range of 6 to 8 reps or even lower at times. Between 4 to 6 reps is about as low as I would probably ever go or recommend to be honest for strength training for me in specific. Most of my lifts just seem to be 5 to 10 pounds heavier than when I work out there. Not sure if my weights are off or whatever the case may be, but most of the ones in the videos are literally brand new. Sadly, my job is cutting my hours again already, right after they promised me that I would be a full-time employee again, but wrong video, wrong time. Like I was saying though, I'm not sure why I seem to be a little bit stronger at home. I literally don't do a single thing differently. It's always been like that. It was also like that before my surgeries too. In the previous winter last year too, the videos back then even show you. Some of the viewers who have been here since then will probably even be able to confirm that. Super weird, right? Are there any more pieces of equipment that you guys would recommend me grabbing? I actually do have dumbbells from 10 pounds all the way up to 40 pounds already. So on that note, those are all taken care of. I have enough weight plates. I got flooring under the power rack. I have two cables that I can use for crossovers and other cable workouts. I have bands for stretching. I don't have a kettlebell, so when I do eventually grab one, I will probably just go with an adjustable one, to be honest, since I won't use it all that often. I do have a lat pull-down bar, a straight bar, a rope, and a V-bar for tricep press-downs. I was honestly thinking on upgrading the bench or... Considering like a smaller, more compact leg machine of some sort, I don't have one specifically picked out or one in mind or anything. Just kind of throwing some ideas out there. Not too sure. That's why I'm actually asking you guys, the viewers watching, exactly what would you do hypothetically in my shoes. And on another note, I almost just want to save money, return some of the more expensive bumper plates that I recently bought, especially since it's way more weight than I personally need, and getting some either promoting with the cash or just doing something to keep on improving the quality of the content because that's ultimately what matters the most to me. I'm dedicated to the fitness. I'm dedicated to self-improvement. I just need a little bit more variety on the channel, I think. Open up some more and show you guys more about who I am and what I do that way you all can understand more about the person that you guys are actually watching if that makes sense <laughs> to be honest I really don't know most of you guys probably don't really care and that's fine I really don't know I got a lot of free time on my hands right now and I'm hoping with the help of the team we are starting to build that with just a little bit extra time and help 
we could really make whatever kind of stuff you guys would want to see from me in reality. I don't have much money, so that's been the biggest limiting factor for me personally as far as all of that goes. I'm doing my best and I'm trying to save every penny in my personal life. That way I can reinvest it back into the channel and those helping me with the channel. Thank you all so much for all of the support as always. We've been growing so fast I can just not even believe it. Keep on leaving those likes, keep on leaving those comments, especially with constructive criticism or any helpful comments or feedback that could help me improve whether it's with my videos my workouts my diet anything anything i can improve at at all i am willing to listen and learn and at least give it my all things really just have not been good for me in my personal life but i'm really feeling the support online so i'm not well i'm trying not to let things get to me as badly as they usually do without this channel though I would probably have just quit my job by now and been in a very, very bad and a very, very dark place right now. I cannot thank you guys not enough for keeping me grounded. I love that I can see myself changing video by video. If you don't mind sharing my videos with your friends or your family or whatever, then please I ask you all to help me out and get more eyes on this channel. Thank you all so, so much. Peace.